Hello guys, uh, I will be working on uh, iPhone XR today which is uh, not turning on completely dead so first thing as you know if you check it on the amp meter I think you can see it see what we got So we know this phone is not gonna turn on on 50 milli milliamp it's just trying 50 milliamp whereas it should go and it's going down as you can see so not charging at all okay so let's uh, remove the board or maybe remove the screen and check if you can fix this or not Let's connect here and we will check what we are getting onto that battery connectors. See, no power here, nothing at all. So, first thing we know is it's not, we are not getting any volts on the battery connectors whereas a good phone should give us between 3.5 to 4 volt on the battery connectors and uh, now I will remove the board and most probably um, I know what the problem is that must be either U3100 or U3300 IC which is not working on this phone from my previous experience but anyway we will take the board out now so now the board is out the difficult thing um, in these iphone xr is to remove the uh, metal shield they are soldered at very i think high temperature solder here so and uh, iphone xr this part here it's very weak where you know any pressure little bit here on the board can break the board from here so I would recommend to cut this shield because U3300 is just there so first thing I would like to check is U3300 before I go any further so I'm not gonna heat it up and remove it I will cut this plate and uh, I will show you how I will be using this tool here to cut the plate so I will go all the way around here and to here and uh, make sure if you are using this sort of tool um, I don't think you should be cutting it from the board side but on from the edges otherwise you you can end up you know the breaking the pads so anyway so I know this side is where the antenna is so I'm gonna cut it from here
so I'm showing you closely from him. that's all done so when this is all done then the next thing you have to do is to pull it nicely up like this see and and make sure you don't cut your hands so that is enough for me see here okay so and the next thing I have to do, I will just remove that. Okay, so I removed it already. I have, the recording was stopped for some reason. So when you hold it, just keep moving it like this, you know, and just remove it. So the next thing I would like to check, um, I'm quite sure this is U3300, but let me check on the board view. Yeah, that's U3300. So if the... Uh, you have got restarting problem so most commonly it's this one here or where is it uh, just by the processor this one here u30 100 but anyway so we will look into this one here and this is the line which is usually not present when you do not get any volt on the battery and if it's not showing input or output short so this is i'm more interested to check here which is on c3353 so let's check it now to check this uh, battery vcc is always present line we all know that and plug it in here and then we will check if we have got my multimeter is working it's on on screen here now i have to restart yep it's working now okay my multimeter is working now so now see we should get 3.8 volt here on C3373 whereas we have got nothing here totally dead and the next thing I would like to check is on the same line if that line is not shorted before I remove the U3300 okay so. Uh, maybe I can show you here yeah. so this is what I'm talking about battery VCC so it's not shorted line so the problem is here and this is U3300 and the part number is SN26000 B2 Okay, let's remove it now. Okay. Let's put you here. Okay, all good here. I have got not enough space here, so I will move it this way. Okay. All right.
why I did not go into any other details checking the phone because you might have seen my earlier videos on the same repair same sort of repair so we know the it's U3300 anyway okay can you see yeah you can I'm not hiding your view right blocking your view actually There you go, we will put it here and then let's give it a clean Okay, that's enough. Now we will give it a clean. Yeah, that looks all good to me. This is a little bit bumped as you can see maybe with the but it will settle down once we are putting the new one on. Okay, let's get the new IC. Okay. We'll move it here. Okay, that's okay. Anyway, so yeah, now that's good. So this is our new IC here. There you go. Okay. Just a little bit of flux and here you go. And the best way to hold is for me because I have got space on both sides. Just give it a little press and then
and we will leave it here okay that's all done we will give it a some time so that it cools down hello is this Robbie? yeah hey, looks all good okay now let's just remove it from here and Okay, now we will keep an eye on our amp meter. Oh shit. Oh yeah, yes. did you see the sign? Oh sorry. Okay, did you see the sign? It's charging. Yeah, it's trying very heavily amps, which is one amp. Okay, so it should turn on it because maybe the battery was dead. So let's try it for a few minutes and come back. So after 10 minutes, see it's started charging fine. So I don't want to show the customers things there. So their picture. So that's all done. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.